What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can manage user access into your Mikrotik router. So further ado let's get started. So guys by default whenever you connect your computer with your Mikrotik router and want to access using the Winbox software the default username is admin and the password field is empty. So put it on your Winbox and click on connect and you will get access to your Mikrotik router like me and also you will get a router OS welcome pop-up like this so click on ok then after that you will get this pop-up change password now if you change your password from here it will change the admin password of your Mikrotik router but we are not going to do it we do not use the admin username on this Mikrotik router so what we will do we will close this now let's set some user into our Mikrotik router with different permission for this on your left hand side go to systems and here you will get a option called users click on it and you will get this option user list from here you can create user remove user and give permission different permission of your Mikrotik router for a specific user if I click on group tab here you can see by default groups full read and write if you give any user full permission they will have full access of your Mikrotik router that means they can do whatever they want in the Mikrotik router then we have the read access which only can read the informations and the configuration and then we have the write configuration which also can make changes into your Mikrotik router those are by default groups created by Mikrotik if you click any of them you will get another pop-up and here you can set the permission whatever a user can do or a group can do you can check and uncheck them like this you can create any type of user groups let's create a super user group so for this what we're gonna do we're gonna click on this plus icon and let's name it as super and as a super user it should do everything on the Mikrotik router so you can mark all of this then click on apply and ok and here you can see I had created a new group named super so like this you can create different type of groups with different permission on your Mikrotik router so we successfully created a group now let's create some users so here in the user tab click here and by default you will get a admin user of your Mikrotik router I said it before that we are not going to use it we are going to disable this admin user but for this we need to create a new user we are going to click on this plus icon here I am going to type Mehdi Shakil as an username and I am going to add this user in full access which can do everything in this Mikrotik router then here in this password field you need to add or type a password for this specific user type it again then click on apply and ok so guys our user is created and as we said before we are going to disable this admin user so just simply select it and click on this cross icon and like this you can easily disable the admin user now let's exit from this Mikrotik router and log in again using this new username whatever we created so click here on exit and it will exit from Mikrotik router now let's log in with the new user account which is Mehdi Shakil so again open up Winbox and here you need to type the new username and the password then click on connect and guys now we are logged in using the new user now let's create some more user for the group of read and write so now let's create a new user which only can read the Mikrotik configuration so again click on this plus icon and name this user as read only then click on this group and select the option read then give it a password and type it again then click on apply and ok so now this user only can read the configuration of your Mikrotik router now let's create a write user so again click on this plus icon and type the username as write user or whatever you want and give the password again now this user which have full access can make any changes and we can say it is a copy of this admin user and this second one read only option user only can read the configuration so like this you can easily create new users into your Mikrotik router and can create different groups of the users so guys that's all for today I hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification I'm Mehdi Shakil you are watching a tech tutorial and I'm signing out